Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with hands and fingers of your character. As a rule, fingers do not have point controllers assigned to them, and instead are controlled using box controllers or an auto-posing tool for fingers. Auto-posing for fingers is only available in the Pro version, and it shall work for the majority of characters with more or less standard fingers. To enable this tool, click this button here. And you can click again to turn the display of the controllers off, so they would not get in the way when working with other parts of the body. So let's see what features the auto-posing for fingers has. The index finger affects all the other fingers of the hand. Make sure you move the controller at the very tip of the finger. The position of the pinky will also affect the rest of the hand. This tool works the same way as auto-posing for the body. Once you move the controller, it means it's now been activated and is now highlighted with a blue color. So here, where the pinky controller is now active, it will no longer be affected by the index finger. To deactivate it, select the controller and press Shift-Z. Or click this button here. When working with fingers, it is best to use the local manipulator mode. To make a fist, try pulling the index finger in. Pick an angle at which you will clearly see the direction in which the finger bends. You can also check the position of the thumb. In the fist, it always lays on top of the other fingers. If the thumb is placed correctly, then the other fingers are very likely to be on their right positions as well. A fist can be a good starting point for a lot of other gestures. Say, we want the character to point at something. Hold Shift and click the rest of the fingers to select them. Then activate the controllers by pressing Shift Z, so that the fingers will keep their positions. And now you can pull the index finger out. By the way, you can also use the Control Picker tool to make the selection of certain points easier. And now, if you deactivate the fingers, the hand will relax. You can use the Phalange controller to specify the position of the finger. Same way you can rotate the tip of the finger, or change the pivot point by right-clicking the other controller to get this effect. The position of the fingers can also be fixed. To do so, select the point and press R on your keyboard. You will see a red frame appear around it. Fixing the point instead of just activating it ensures that it will retain its position in the scene. The controller will no longer move while you adjust the position of the rest of the hand. But beware that this only works for the posing and it does not affect the interpolation. Now let's see what we can do with box controllers. The box controller mode is available in the standard version, and it can be used in cases where the character's hand does not necessarily have all the five fingers. Box controllers are not connected via a physical skeleton, and thus do not have any effect on each other. So be careful when using Translate Manipulator because you can easily deform the geometry. To avoid that, it is best to use the rotation manipulator with the box controllers at all times. Double click the box controller to select all its child nodes. It is also handy to use tail mode. Select the fingers and activate the tail mode by clicking this button. Make sure you select local tail mode. Also use the local mode for the manipulator. And now you can easily bend the fingers. You can also create a separate scene where you will make the most common hand gestures for your character. Then you can easily copy the poses from this scene onto your character at any time. 
For example, I've quickly sketched the punching animation for the whole hand here. Now I go to the scene where I have all the hand poses pre-made. Using the box controller mode to quickly select all the fingers, double click the box controller of the hand. Once all the fingers are selected, shift click it again to remove it from the selection. Press Ctrl C to copy the position of the fingers. Now go back to your punching scene, select the same box controllers, select the frames on the timeline, double check that we are in the local mode, and then press Ctrl Alt V. This combination allows us to paste the copied position into all the selected frames. Same way you can copy the position of the joints or the point controllers in the auto posing mode. Another thing, you can also create a separate track for the fingers on the timeline. This way you can control their interpolation separately. And that's it for this tutorial. Hope it was useful. If you have any questions, make sure to check out our Discord server or leave a comment below. So thanks for watching and see you next time.